What's up guys, Jerry Barrientos here. Um, I'm going to be trying to make an unbiased video, for not really a review, but just kind of overall look at wheels. Now, I could easily go into in-depth features, say, stone ground with stone ground finish, or a giant wide core, like the Kyle Martin FSUs, but um, I'm going to go into a, like four different sets of wheels here, because this is these are four wheels I have on me and I'm going to be use these are going to be more for downhill mostly a um, moderately fast so about 60 kilometers to about 75 kilometers per hour just in that speed range um, and uh, a lot of corners so it's going to be more towards the Mary Hill Festival speed now I'm going to give you guys unbiased advice for the next from now on so I'm not going to go from say a Okay, but you're gonna be like, you you should buy at this place. No, of course not. I'm gonna say, here, here are these wheels. Choose what you want. Go get it at your local board shop. Because I honestly don't care where you get it. Because it's your business, not mine. So the wheels in question today are the Abic 11 Big Zigs Reflex Formula in 75 mil, and they're ADA. The 70 millimeter, 70 millimeter contact patch, Biggie Hogs. The uh, uh, Venom Cannibals, which are 76 mil, and an offset hub. And the Rad Advantages, which are stacked on my boards, and I don't want to bring my board back on screen because I just tried like 700 times to get that on, and that just doesn't work. So, um, first of all, I'm going to start with Cannibals. Because that's the first wheel I grabbed. Um, these are the cannibals. They're, this is the 78A version. They're probably gonna they release a um, 2013 version of this wheel. It's gonna be similar to this. This formula is gonna be the pretty much the same. Um, the cool thing about this, it's a offset hub, so it's gonna be really deep on this side, but it's very shallow on this side. Now I gotta rush through this. 76 mil, 78A, very wide contact patch. It's about 60 60 um, millimeters wide. But the uh, thing that I found difficult with this is trying to get off the line very, very quickly. So if you really want to get something off the line, if you want to get off the line fast, I'd recommend either getting a smaller wheel with a wide contact patch or a um, something with a lighter core. Second wheel in question are the big yachts. Whoops. Um, that's the 78A mm, over the fact over the uh, Abic 11 ADA. It's blue, so it distinguishes the fact from the white ones, which are ADA. Um, I recommend this for a rider that are light. Um, I'm about 150 pounds, and I'm already getting recommendations that I should be riding this wheel for racing. What the neat feature about this one? It's center set, so it's the same size here as it is here. It doesn't seem like it's that big from this angle because they've got all the writing on the side when this side is, you have no red. Um, it's a square wheel. What I mean by that is if you look at it from one side, so like this, you can see the tall, it's wide as it is tall. Well, let me show you what I mean. I have in my hands two big yards. Now if I put them together, you can see that it's as tall as it is wide. Now that's a cool feature. And I'm not making this up. There's no camera tricks, no special effects. This is all real time, not really. It's actually just a recording of what these are. What that means, uh, that they're going to be a lot of grip. I can push these two bad edges in, and they're going to produce the same amount of push. Uh, you can lean on these things so much, rail corners like mad crazy, and get a nice amount of speed. The only downfall of this is it's 70 mil, so you're not going to get that much speed out of them. Um, but in that, in that sense, you're going to get a lot of traction for this wheel, so I'd recommend this for people that really like to go go fast, get grip corners and still go fast. 
and for low clearance setups, so top mount boards or drop through boards with low clearance setups, so like a Rain Amazon or Switchblade or something like that. The third wheel on the list is the AVIC 11 um, Reflex Formula 80A Big Zig. Now, uh, there's a zigzag which is about 70 millimeters. Yes, of course, I can usually go into that, but um, this is the 75 millimeter version which I have currently so I'm going to do run through of this. Um, it's an offset hub square lips um, it's 75 millimeters tall like I said it's 80A over 78A but the thing is with the reflex formula it's fast and it's grippy so it's going to feel a lot softer We you, it's, you can't really tell if you squeeze it so if you do the squeeze test on the thing you, you're going to feel like they're pretty hard well, when you actually ride them, they're actually going to be softer because when you actually have the wheel digging in the pavement, you, it just feels different. Good things I like about uh, ABEC 11 are, the, especially with the reflex formula, it's fast. It's a fast wheel. That being said, it's a really hard wheel to get off the, off the lane. I really do think with a 75mm wheel that you've got the best of both ways. You can easily grip corners bust them out in pretty good Prius and still lock up and take corners like the boss. The, this wheel is really good for long races where you have to keep your constant speed. That and the cannibals, that these are going to be the two wheels that you're going to want to keep your con constant speed. So I'm actually leaning towards these two wheels and the third and the last wheel that I have on the board right now. Whereas Biggie Hogs, you can get a lot of grip out of these wheels. But you kind of are going to lack a little bit in the, in the speed section. But that shouldn't be a problem because you're going to be running a constant speed. And if, if the Biggie Hogs can keep up with other like wheels that are 75 or 76 millimeter, I'll, I'll use it. Fine. It'll be fine. So I'm going to bring my board in here and uh, show off the last wheel. Actually, I'm going to grab the camera to do it. The last wheel on the list is the Rad Vantages. I like saying Rad Vantage because because it's it's a Rad, so it's a rider proof design. But it's known as the Advantage in the in the community. So we just call it Rad Vantages. This wheel is 75 millimeters tall with a 58 millimeter contact patch and a big big offset core. What this turns out to be is a very fast wheel to actually get going and a very good wheel to hold down speed. Now, I've been testing these wheels, this wheel for a couple months. There you go. So now I've, I've been testing this wheel for a couple months and I've been commuting uh, to and from, getting a little bit of downhill going about 45 on this thing, so I haven't really taken this board up to speed, but this board was not made for speed. It's a rain vendetta, so it's not really meant for speed. That being said, it really held its speed at 45k, and actually was accelerating to more 50k, and actually keeping up with a lot of cars. <laughs> uh, the one downfall I really don't like about this is the giant core. That being said, the giant cord makes it re uh, real very light. So, if you think about it, think of it like rad vantages are comparable to the loops. That being said, you don't want to use the loops for downhill. Um, so, I'm not saying one wheel's bat were bat worse than another. I'm not saying that there's um, wheels that suck or that that are bad. I'm just putting the pros, the cons, you make the decision. It's your choice. You get to choose what wheels you want in there. I'll have um, I'll probably bust out more, a couple more wheels out and uh, do more just like unbiased reviews on that. Throw some cons, throw some pros and make another real review on those. So yeah. 
Thank you guys for watching. If you want to check out any other videos, check out the sidebar. Go to my channel. And if you want to see new videos come up on your screen, go and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I have another couple friends that you can easily uh, subscribe to as well. They do gaming. They do other co cool stuff like that. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.